everyone. I am Dr. Laura Bellis, naturopathic doctor. Thank you for tuning in to today's video, the last part in our detox series. And these are my detox tips. So in the last two videos, we talked about should you detox, how you should detox. And this part is actually about what you can do to take your detox to the next level and what you shouldn't forget about while detoxing, whether on my recommended program or any recommended detox program. So the three things I'm gonna mention are, number one, sleep. Please sleep, your body is under a lot of stress by trying to work overtime to get rid of some of this, these built up toxins. So sleep anywhere between seven and eight hours at least a night. So this could be anywhere between an hour or two hours more than you usually do. But remember, this is for a short period of time. So sometimes your schedule may not permit extra sleep. Please work around this and plan accordingly so that you can give your body enough time to repair and rejuvenate itself. You will notice more results when you sleep well in general, but especially on a detox. So this is not something that's a negotiable. You really wanna make sure you're not getting any less than seven hours per night. Number two is water. So a lot of people that are on a detox are kind of just eating cleaner but not consuming much more fluid. Your body is working overtime to get rid of the buildup that's been there for years in many cases. So water needs to be a priority. Now again, what I've told you in the past is half of your body weight in pounds in ounces of water. So like if, again, if you're 150 pounds, half of that is 75, 75 ounces of water. Now that's in general uh, a fluid requirement for most people every day. You can't get any less than that. So make sure that you're getting that ideal amount of fluid ounces every single day and make sure that's the purest form of water that you can. So if you don't have a filtered system, uh, something at least a basic refrigerator filter, something to give yourself clear, pure water would be beneficial for your detox. Remember, we're trying to lessen the burden that we're putting on our body during a detox. So adding uh, tap water or a lot of chlorinated uh, fluids to our body is actually not lessening the burden at all. And number three is take it easy with exercise. So you are in a detox state, your body needs to do, well, just that, detox. So whether or not you're an avid exerciser or not, and of course exercising uh, in general does help during a detox. It helps move things around, circulation, lymphatic flow. These are all things that get the gunk out of your body, right out of your body. But I, as a rule, I generally recommend 25% of your normal routine during a detox. Remember, this is not forever, so please consider doing lower intensity exercise, yoga, Pilates, stretching, walking, uh, and make sure that you're not overdoing it. Uh, so again, 25% of your normal exercise routine is ideal during a detox, and if you're not doing any uh, exercise regularly, this is where you may wanna consider a yoga class or uh, a regular evening walk for 10 or 15 minutes to help get the circulation going and help your body get rid of the toxins it's been trying to do all along. So I hope these three quick tips have been helpful for you at your next detox. It is fall, so this is definitely the time to consider doing a detox. If you have any questions or comments about how to take your detox on this fall, I'd love to hear them, so please put them below.